Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to continue the iPad user guide. In this particular one, we're going to take a look at iCloud. That's probably one of the things I get the most questions about is what is iCloud and what do I do with it? iCloud allows you to do a number of things, but let's go into settings where the actual iCloud settings are. And here we have our options. So here we have our account. We can go into the account, change the password, up our storage to 20 gigabytes a year. We can change uh, advanced options as far as who you are, what kind of server, things like that. Things that aren't really too important that it kind of does on its own. But what we have here is mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, notes, photo stream, documents and data, and find my iPad. And what all of these are, are they are the option to sync all of these different things for free to the cloud or to a database basically or, or a giant server storage that Apple has. And what it does is allows you to do a lot of different things such as sync your mail, your contacts, will go to all your devices. So basically your contacts you have on your Mac uh, or your iPad or your iPod will sync automatically to your iPad should you get a new one or any of your iDevices or Mac. Now when it comes to things such as uh, calendars, it will sync that. Reminders, it will sync that. Your bookmarks for Safari, it will also sync. It will also sync your notes across all the devices and photo stream documents and data. Documents and data it will sync such as applications like Pages. If you have Pages, you type a document, it will show up here. It will show up on your iPhone, your iPod, anything you have iCloud turned on too. Now one of the probably most favorite features of iCloud is taking pictures and having them automatically show up on your other devices. So here we have actually in an app, let's go to the camera and I could have done that more quickly from the home screen on this one. But if I take a picture here, we'll just take a, a quick picture of what we're looking at. In a few moments, that picture I just took will show up in iCloud. So let me go and find the picture. Here's the picture I just took. If I go home here, and go to my photos. So I have photos down here. Scroll all the way down and give it a moment and they should show up. We'll give it just a moment and what will happen is this will automatically appear in my photo stream down here. And if you may have seen it there, I closed too quickly, it popped right in. So that's the image I just took on my iPhone, just showed up on photo stream on the iPad. So really a handy feature. Now you don't have to have these features turned on but I like that, that anytime I take a photo here, it shows up on my other devices and I can edit it with iPhoto, or I can just take a look at it, use it in the slideshow or gallery, things like that. Overall though, iCloud is pretty much just that. It's to sync all of your things to other devices or other computers. So should you have iCloud turned on, like I do, you'll have the option to sync all of those. Now, if you have a ton of photos and you wanna save them, you may wanna invest in some more storage. Right now you can see I have 25 storage and that's because I was a previous subscriber to mobile me. But since that's going away, that will go away as well. And I have 12 gigabytes available. I can buy more storage if I want. And one of the other critical features here is backing up. I have my devices back up to iCloud. And what that means is my ba this device backs up, it saves all of my settings. So should I have to wipe the device for any reason, should it break and I need a new one, anything like that, I get a new device, I sign into iCloud, and then I simply have all of my stuff back. It just shows up. So it takes a little while, but all of my apps will show up in the way they're arranged now, and everything just shows up. So it's as if I never left it. It's really pretty nice and free. So as long as you're not doing a ton of photos that you need storage for, you'll just get this for free and you'll have everything backed up. So no need to worry about syncing it to a computer, anything like that, unless you wanna get some of your music uh, there's no need to sync or anything like that. So it's a really nice feature and I definitely recommend turning it on unless you have a specific need not to have it turned on. Overall, it's pretty nice. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.